Well, the reason I'm running is we need change in Washington and we need new leadership in Washington. I've been a restaurant guy all my life. I build businesses, create jobs, put people to work. What our country needs right now are more le is more leadership and better leadership in Washington. I consider Suzanne Cosmos to be a bench warmer. She has not represented District 24. And when you look at the array of candidates currently in the Republican primary for District 24, no one's had the business experience that I've had. No one's had the experience creating the hundreds of thousands of jobs that I've created. Philosophically, not a great dumb, uh, about a difference between the five candidates in District 24. But I'm the only candidate that brings 40 years of business experience, building businesses, dealing with uh, our government, both at a state and federal level. I understand how Washington doesn't work and what, it needs to, what needs to take place to get it working again. Talking about jobs, you said you, you had a business, you've employed a lot of people. Um, how, can we, how can we raise or lower this unemployment rate here in Florida? It's at 12 percent, national unemployment rate is at 10 percent. As a business owner, how can you, what would you propose we do to, uh, to employ people? Well, there's, there's several barriers that exist right now for job creation. One is our tax policy. People put capital to work, businessmen put capital to work when they're comfortable with not only how their government's function, functioning, but that the risk they're taking is going to generate rewards. One of the first things I would do when I get to Washington is extend the Bush tax credits for three years, eliminate the, the death tax so that the people that are putting uh, people to work can look forward to great results and great returns in the future. The other thing we need to do is solve our banking crisis and our housing crisis. Many small businesses are afraid to invest in the future of their business and unable to invest in the future of our business because the capital is not available to them. We need to straighten out our banking system. We need banking reform that will uh, prevent the type of crisis that we've gotten ourselves into. And those are the type of issues that I know firsthand. I've been a small business owner and a large business owner, and I know why people put capital to work. And you, if you don't get people putting capital to work, you don't get job creation. Stick on the immigration uh, issue. Um, illegal immigration, taking away a lot of job, American jobs. How do you feel about this? Do you support the Arizona bill? Do you think that that type of bill should be implemented around the state, especially around, the, around Florida, especially around the country? And um, how do you feel about uh, amnesty? Well, no one has dealt with this issue, certainly in the, in the race that I'm in, more than I have. I took over as president of Pizzeria Uno in 1986 when our federal government put a new immigration policy in place that gave amnesty to three million Americans. What it didn't do is it didn't shut our borders. It didn't prevent a reoccurrence of what had happened previously. The first thing that we need to do is have the federal government step up and do its job. Until that time occurs, dealing with the other issues surrounding immigration reform and how we deal with the people that are here becomes somewhat secondary. I'm a big proponent of what's happened in Arizona. I've, writ I've uh, read the law that they put in place. I can't understand why any, anyone would be concerned about that type of legislation, not only at the state level, but also at the federal level. If you're serious about having our country enforce its laws, you cannot object to what Arizona's done. And I support the right to do it, not only as a state, and the sovereignty of this state, but I also believe that by doing so, they're going to encourage our federal government to step up to the plate and do their job. I'm hopeful they are, they will. What we've had for 24 years is de facto amnesty in this country. Most people know, if you check my record, that I supported immigration reform in 2005 and 2006. We weren't successful. Today is a different day and a different time, but the issue is still there. Our federal government needs to do its job and secure its borders so that we can move forward and solve the issue of 12 million illegal aliens being in our country.